Hi everybody, my name is Roy. I'm a product manager in Jira Software. And today I'd like to talk to you about how you can get started with advanced roadmaps uh, and create your first plan. Now, with advanced roadmaps, which is part of Jira Software Premium on the cloud offering, you can plan and track work across projects and teams, manage dependencies, manage your team capacities, and align your stakeholders with one source of truth for what's planned. In your Jira Software Premium site, you'd notice the plans drop down. Go ahead and click Create Plan. For the sake of this example, I'd like to create a plan so I can plan and track the work across my mobile development teams. I'll give a plan the name. And I'll keep the access open, although if you want, you can make it private. And now it's time to connect the plan to issue sources. This is basically where uh, the issues live in Jira software. You can either select a board, a project, or a filter. I'll select a board. I'd like to visualize the issues from the iOS board and from the Android board. And also from a project that I have my strategic initiatives created. And that's it. You can go ahead now and create your plan. But there is an optional step to refine the issues displayed. Customers who have a lot of issues uh, in their boards and they want to only select a subset uh, of those issues. So let's see that in action. I'll go and click Set Exclusion Rules. And I have a few parameters where I can set rules to exclude certain issues from the issue sources I selected. For this example, I go ahead and exclude issues that I don't think are relevant for me. For example, I don't want to see ideas, I don't want to see innovation work, and to be honest, not even subtasks. If you notice carefully, there is uh, an issue counter for the plan. So this is how many issues are going to be displayed in the plan. And every exclusion rule that you make uh, that impacts that the, the counter would uh, update in real time. I can do exclusion rules also for statuses. So let's say I don't want the considering status or the draft. These are issues that are not ready yet. And I can see that the counter updates. You can also do exclusion rules for uh, day since completion and uh, exclude releases and issues that are assigned to these releases. All right. I'm ready to create my plan and I'll click the create. Here we go and we see all the issues uh, that are from the issue sources we selected. I'll go ahead and expand. You see the epic stories. Now, when you are uh, first seeing this view, you'd have the getting started tool, which you can always uh, come back to. So I definitely recommend to give it a read. Uh, it explains about the different UI parts and how to use the plan. Now, one last thing. If you still see some issues that you really don't care about and shouldn't be in your plan, you can always remove them um, with the bulk actions, remove from plan and click the remove. Um, they are not deleted or anything, just removed from the plan, and you can always bring them back. So here you've got the removed issues, and you can re-include them if you'd like. Also, there's a quick access for the exclusion rules that we saw and the issue sources configuration. That's it. I hope uh, you find this video useful, and I wish you happy planning.